Hello guys, welcome to Daily Kannada Fire series. Today we will discuss 30th March Kannada Fires. Welcome to our channel Gear Up for Group 1 exam. Let's discuss the today's important Kannada Fires. The first one polling agents. Here why it is in use? What is the significance of this polling agents? what is the definition of this uh, polling agents here why it is in use why because the election election commission's recent decision to change the rules for appointing polling agents has a spark of debate in west bengal if you see the definition of this polling agent a polling agent is a person appointed as the representative of a political party suppose if there is a bjp they have a one polling agent if suppose one another party congress have a party congress party then they will have a polling agent if suppose trinamool congress they will have one polling agent like that it is a uh, they are a representative of these political parties as it is not possible for a candidate to physically present at every polling booth on the day of elections suppose in a state in a district in a constituency for one candidate is contesting for that candidate he is unable to reach or he is unable to take care of every village or every mandal in that constituency that's why he will allocate one polling agents then he will take care of that some polling procedure that's why there is a need of polling agent but why this decision election commission decision sparked why because previously there is a polling agent for that constituency as per the new regulations a political party can nominate a polling agent for any booth that is the main reason for any booth within the assembly segment he or she is a voter from but previously it is like a uh, particularly uh, restrained or restricted to some booths only but now it is a any but that polling agent can be a nominate anywhere in a assembly segment that's why this election commission's decision sparked a debate on the west bengal next one uniform civil code here the name itself defines uniform that means it covers equally everything either may be any religion or may be any marriage or divorce thing or anything related to suppose there may be some difference divorce procedure in muslims or it may be some procedure in hindus or it may be some in different procedure in christianity don't take it as a, as a negative topic negative controversy thing but for our exam perspective see it as a exam perspective only here the na- the name itself that is uniform civil code defines the it is applicable all laws in a in a simp- uniform manner that is if suppose there is a some procedure in hindus or in a christianity or in a muslim then there should be one only code that is uniform civil code here you will get one doubt whether any state or any union territory have this type of uniform uniform civil code yes there is a that is goa that's why chief justice of india s a bobde lauded or praised goa's uniform civil code and encouraged intellectuals indulging in academic talk to visit the state to learn more about it here as uniform civil code is one that would provide for one law for the entire country applicable to all religious communities in their personal matter such as marriage divorce inheritance and adoption here as my point of view every religion have their own views or muslims have own views and uh, hindus have own views christians have own views but uh, we have to respect all these religions that's why we our india is a secular country if really it is needed for a uniform civil code then we will go for it 
then there is no discussion about it that is my personal point of view next one heart of asia that is istanbul process here external affairs minister dr s jayshankar reached dushanbe on three day visit to tajikistan here it is like a when one good program or one good conference that is heart of asia or or sorry istanbul process heart of asia istanbul process our external affairs minister that is dr s jayshankar reached dushanbe on the three day visit to tajikistan he will attend the ninth ministerial conference of heart of asia istanbul process on afghanistan if you see the motto of this heart of asia istanbul process is our objective is it is a platform for promoting regional security economic and political cooperation centered on afghanistan through dialogue and a set of cbm that is confidence building measures next one international ranger award here the award has been announced for 10 professionals across the world by the international union for conservation of nature iucn and world commission on protected areas that is wcpa here our union minister of for environment has congratulated mahinder giri mahinder giri sorry range officer of raja rajaji tiger reserve for being the only ranger from asia from asia to win the prestigious international ranger award for his contribution towards the conservation that is mahinder giri rajaji tiger reserve with this we can conclude our video thanks for watching like share and subscribe to our channel gear up for group on exam this is sunny sandeep signing out take care and bye bye